Max Custom Designs. These are shot covers that I've had for more than a year. I'll double check the time so I can give you an exact uh, before and after to see how these hold up to the elements. These are the other ones that I bought new that I've never even installed yet because I still got so much life out of these. Um, saturation is still there. I mean, this red is definitely brighter and when you stretch these, you're going to maybe see some of the white threads inside so that can contribute to how saturated it is before and after stretching. So it might not be contributed only to the wear and tear. Um, got some scuffs. This happened by just it rubbing. This is this part behind here is the piece that you turn to adjust the tension on the spring and it's serrated. So it just, you know, it's rubbed on it a couple times. But besides that, you can see what they've uh, looked like this whole time. These rear ones, they have some dirt on it and stuff that gets kicked on it from the front tires. And I don't clean this with chemicals. I just use an air blower to blow it off. So all this stuff is gonna fly off but only because they've been on here this long i'm gonna go ahead and put new ones on it but you can see that i do drive my truck it's not just on the asphalt i do go in the dirt and do stuff so these shot covers are exposed to the elements but they've been holding up this whole time one more thing i want to show you guys while you're here don't forget to check out my video where I make this plate for the XLX2 and anybody who has had an XLX2 crash, whether it's in your truck or your Speedrunner 1.7 scale, when these take a tumble, these wires rip off. It's gonna be the positive or the negative and it's because, see if I can show you here. These power terminals, they're really tall and they've got a lot of leverage and it makes it to where if a battery comes dislodged or there's flex in the chassis and just the weight of these connectors flapping around, it will dislodge it. So what this plate does, is you can see there is one plate on the very bottom and the slits are open this way. So you take off the fan and you slide this this way. You put the fan on, which secures it. And then you put the second plate that comes this way and you screw it down to the first plate. And it makes it to where these cannot be snagged and pulled. So if you try pulling it and snagging it this way, it's just gonna catch this um, bracket that I made. It's not carbon fiber, it's uh, expanded PVC foam board, but when it's something this small, it's strong enough to serve the purpose. So if you were to pull this upwards, maybe there's gonna be damage, but that isn't the motion that causes these to break off. So when they get snagged sideways and the post that's standing upright gets bent like that. Everybody that shared this situation on Facebook that have photos on there, you can see what I'm talking about. There's not a lot of videos about this on YouTube, but you can probably see a lot of it on the forums. So I made a video about this. Maybe I'll just share the link to that video in the comment section for this video, along with the link for these shot covers from Max Custom Designs. He's also got a website. You can buy these on ebay or his website either one prices may vary i'm not sure so that's up to uh, your discretion but i just uh wanted to give you guys a small update meanwhile i'm working on newer projects for the toys for boys channel i'm getting some um new camera stuff and some new equipment so i'm going to be able to get back to making content and uploading content consistently like i used to because the devices that have them are maxed out so guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys soon.